we uh, we had a, a part about being creative uh, we had a part about sharing and being creative and working with others and now we wanted to kill creativity um, this is um, of course uh, not really kill creativity but to understand that creativity is also a discipline it is not as romantic as one thinks I remember I'm, I'm sure Roman remembers we had a project about finding ways of measuring creativity However, in the case of campaigning and um, advocacy, I wanted to introduce you, there is a, um, a method that is called the SMARTER approach. And the SMARTER approach is about um, criteria when planning anything really, but also from the process of building an idea um, to identifying the steps for implementing it. And basically, I wanted to explain to you basically what um, the, the ether behind this is. When we say specific, um, an idea needs to have specific objectives. You will notice that at times we, uh, when we embark on an initiative, we, have, we can fall in the trap of remaining mm -hmm. in generic terms. Um, and this may help people misunderstand because when the more, uh, the, um, uh, the more, generic terms we use, the more vague our ideas can be. So there need to be specific objectives um, within a certain time, within, uh, now we will speak of timing as well. However, the terminology and vocabulary and the personality of an initiative need to have a specific thing so that people around us, including our in-house partners and our maybe stakeholders, um, are in a position to understand where we would like to go before we say this is the specific objective and it's final. Build specific objectives with others. When you make a plan, of course, um, here I, I like to put the, all these four together, that not only vocabulary is specific in objectives, etc., but also it has to, they have to be measurable. For um, a vague, a generic concept to translate in the minds of people to something more concrete for them to visualize, um, they need to have measurable objectives. And I like to interpret measurable objectives not only as objectives that can be one say, oh, I have reached this objective when this happens, but also uh, measurable in the minds of people who are going to be working with you. If they are not understood, they are not measurable in their minds. So it's not only measurable on paper on your minds, but also in the minds of the partners and also in the minds of the beneficiaries. So when you are offering a service or making uh, embarking on an initiative to foster migration, people in need of support in social migration and the rest of the community all need to understand your objective. So this is when it is measurable also in the minds of others. Measurable milestones, um, possibly not all milestones have to be reached at the same time. I like, to, I like to use the word modular implementation. You know, you say, I'm happy if we reach the first small milestone in the beginning, and that could be an opportunity to go back to the feedback loop, to go back to the drawing board and take it step by step, but measurable because they are specific and concrete. And measurable impact. I'm sure that many of you are involved in European projects and when proposing projects, you need to look into uh, what impacts you intend to achieve. And when you report on a project, for example, you need to show the impact you think or you, you are sure that you have achieved. So even the impact has to be measurable. Who will benefit? the beneficiaries, the community, you know, which target groups will benefit what and how and when. Then achievable. I mean, uh, your goals have to be achievable um, in, in broad terms and also in their parts. I like, I like project design when it is implemented in steps in, and in small um, measures of success because that would mean that um, they are not only measurable, but achievable, realistic, and people understand more when something is almost evidently achievable. And this sometimes comes out from the simplicity of an idea, of an, an initiative, 
and how micro you break it down into. Okay. Then achievable in parts, not only in the broad terms, and achievable because it takes into consideration the adequate resources when you make a plan, as we said. Um, if you are in a local authority or in an NGO and you want to embark on an, on an initiative, you need to know that you have the resources, the talent, the, fi the finance, the finance, the time for it, the expertise. And if you don't have them, maybe a partnership with someone else, with another partner, with an expertise would help you uh, show that you have the adequate resources to carry out an initiative which makes all these, I mean, uh, the measurable and achievable, make your goals realistic. And then the timing. Uh, the timing when it comes on uh, initiatives, of course, there is any social media campaign or campaign has its limitation as to timing. And this is uh, related to season phase phases and when you have all the information, for example. Um, the period, the period over which it is extended, the mood that you want to convey in your initiative, uh, the milieu that you want to create around the initiative that helps people own it more, like it more. But when it comes to migration, the timing, together with the vocabulary from specific at the top, um, is of essence. Um, I remember that once, for example, speaking of something re remotely or relatively re related to migration, I think it was the only project that we had as an organization that failed. We had a project on precarious work. We had promised to produce a final event of youth for talk to stakeholders about precarious work. At the time, there happened to be first a referendum and then local council elections and no authority wanted to put a word about precarious work because it could have harmed um, the employers or ha harmed stakeholders voting wise. And I remember it because we were unlucky with timing. Of course, when you present a project, you present it for in two years time, you say you'll organize this event. No one would have known we would have this coincidence, but timing is of essence and you timing can make you fail and can make you can make or break you as they say. So it's important that when you plan, you look at timing, you look at competition for attention, and you look about the at the mood of the audiences on the topic. At the, um, we know that migration, of course, is uh, the subject of uh, rash decisions. That's why we embarked on the MARSA project. So timing is uh, one of the most important parts of uh, in, uh, in planning an initiative. And it has to be ethical, um, ethical in, the, in, in what you want to achieve, okay? Um, and here there is the magic word of values, um, especially when it comes to migration and uh, integration. And also it is in the results and also in the process, in the aims. Um, in the earlier, I mentioned that we need to have less ego and I consider this a bit of, a, of a, a values issue that you embark on initiatives for the benefit of others as well, not only um, because you, uh, you want to do it for your own career. I mean, it's important that the beneficiaries, the human beneficiaries remain at the center of your initiative. Relevance and relevance is of the most important part um, when, when you write a project, especially a European project, this is where we come from, um, something that loses you points on project is when you are off the mark, when you are not relevant. And initiatives can be good, can be beneficial, but sometimes relevance is, um, is of essence as much as timing. And relevance, it is on, on two levels. One, it is relevant for society, for target groups, audiences, all the players, okay? And it has to be relevant and in context. And uh, it has to have a close relationship with the context that forms the milieu around. Um, however, it is relevance has to be horizontal to all um, the other elements in, in SMARTER and the acronym SMARTER. And it shows that the initiative being relevant makes it worth the effort. 
and relevance, it needs to be on the beneficiaries. We did not mention on the actor. If you are the actor in, in advocacy and campaigning for the benefit of others, then the relevance has to be not for yourself, but for others. I know selflessness is not easy. We are not a religious order. However, the, at the, mo and the moment you start learning how to implement with others and sharing with others, being an open book, at the, mo the moment you are humble enough to go back to the drawing board when necessary, I think you have already went over the threshold of doing something on, that is only relevant to yourself. Um, and with this, I would like to conclude this smarter approach. I think this together with building ideas and using tools like the canvas that uh, Roman proposed, working with others, making sure that others own an idea with us and ensuring the smarter approach. Of course, this is not the only methods to measure and to use uh, as a ruler, okay? However, it, um, these three elements together can, can help you be a good actor in advocacy on migration and on any other topic for the benefit of others.